Hi there, my name is Phil Higgins and this is the Ventures Onsite News Update for the second week of October 2022. Well, if you're new to our updates, then please subscribe so we can keep you up to date with the latest construction news for the region and all future developments here at Ventures Onsite. Well, in the news this week, two major contracts worth $124 million have been awarded by the Sharjah-based developer Arada to Aerolink Building Contracting. The deal will see the construction of nine premium apartment blocks comprising 740 homes in Al Jada. The developer's 24 million square foot mixed-use mega project located in the Mawela area in Sharjah. Well, Dar Al Khan Global, the leading real estate developer in Saudi Arabia, has joined hands with the Italian hypercar manufacturer Pagani Mobili for the unveiling of the first apartment at the high-tech Da Vinci Tower located in downtown Dubai. The apartment, a residential masterpiece for the first time, gave prospective buyers a glimpse into the world's first ever Pagani-inspired exclusive space as well as the uniqueness of the Da Vinci Tower's apartment portfolio. Oman's five-year plan and Vision 2040 programs outline a roadmap to diversify Oman's economy through increased government spending on key non-oil sectors and a strategy to stimulate private investment in various sectors including the construction industry. Project Oman, the International Construction Technology Infrastructure and Building Materials Exhibition, kicks off this month on the 24th to the 26th of October at the Oman Convention and Exhibition Centre. You'll find a link in the description to register for this event. The Saudi downtown company has been launched by His Royal Highness Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman, Chairman of the Public Investment Fund in Saudi Arabia. The SDC aims to build and develop downtown areas and mixed-use destinations in 12 cities throughout Saudi Arabia. According to a statement, the company plans to improve infrastructure and build strategic partnerships with the private sector and investors by creating new business and investment opportunities in key economic sectors including retail, tourism, entertainment and housing. The Saudi Ports Authority Mawani announced that it has signed seven contracts and memorandums of understanding with partners from the public and private sector with a total exceeding $240 million, which included establishing a new integrated logistics park at Jeddah Islamic Port, developing infrastructure according to the latest global standards, as well as developing the new port's management system. UAE's real estate development company Bloom Holdings announced that it is planning to expand its education portfolio to Egypt with a joint venture with New Era Education and New Giza Real Estate Development with the launch of an international school in Egypt. The new school is planned to be opened in August 2024 in New Giza, West Cairo. The Egyptian government is considering to build four industrial complexes for cooking oil production within a period of three to five years with an investment cost of $307 million and an estimated total production capacity of 2,400 tonnes per day. We've seen significant development in Egypt during the past few years and ongoing construction activity is expected to continue for many years to come. On the 18th of October at 10 a.m. Egyptian time, Ventures Onsite will be hosting a webinar to take a close look at what's going on in the Egyptian construction and real estate market to understand what the future holds for this region. You can find a link in the description to register for this free event. Well, that's the news for this week. Like always, we hope this news update helps you stay informed so you stay competitive. My name's Phil Higgins and this is Ventures Onsite Live.